what's good everybody welcome back to my channel you already know it's your girl patrick kiara and in today's video i am doing a recent pickups or like a thrift haul i never know what to call the videos because y'all know everything that i get is thrifted but it's kind of like a pickups i guess I don't know but anyways before we get into the video make sure to like comment and subscribe i have some really cool things i think personally to show you guys today so make sure to stay tuned for the video all right so i know that in my last recent pickups video that i filmed you guys wanted me to try on the pieces so i'm gonna do that today i really hate trying on everything but it's fine i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it but there are two things that i am not gonna try on because like like they're kind of dirty like I already wore them I just don't feel like putting them on right now um, the first thing they're both t-shirts the first t-shirt is this plain sued t-shirt right here and it just has like the little letters which I thought were super dope it's like it just says plain sued literally all over it plain sued jeans this tee is so cute so fun oh my god um I think I don't think I've worn it in a video actually because I didn't film last week. But I've been wearing this t-shirt since I got it. I got it two weeks ago. I've already worn it like three times because it's just such a cute little t-shirt. It has a cap sleeve on it, but the sizing is just really nice. I have a pretty petite kind of body, I guess. Like my body is just like small. So when it comes to t-shirts, I'm really iffy because I just don't want to be walking around looking like a little boy but this t-shirt is actually the perfect fit if you do have a smaller body i'm sure you can honestly find this shirt on depop because plain suit is all over depop and all over ebay if i can find the link to it i'll make sure to leave it below but yeah this top is so freaking cute look at this I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so the next t-shirt that I have, and I've actually had this one. I don't know why I didn't put it in my last video. Maybe I didn't, maybe I just got it in October, I don't know. But the next t-shirt I have is this Peter Doe t-shirt. I tweeted about the fact that I found this and it was so freaky because I had tweeted maybe two days before I found this that I wanted like Peter Doe like Peter Doe was all that I wanted as far as like the boots and stuff and I just happened to be going through the rack at um Beacon's Closet and I found this t-shirt just chilling on the rack and I'm like this is at a thrift store like a, a buy sell trade store like no one understands that this is Peter Doe like what and I think it was only $18 and I think it's because no one knew who Peter Doe was which was a lucky thing for me but it kind of sucks like y'all be on it um but it says I like it the best when you're nice to me and as you can see it's kind of like frayed on the letters it's like little just thread like loose thread on the letters which i think is so cute and like i said before normally t-shirts be making me look like a boy um this t-shirt right here is a pretty decent fit i would try it on but it's just it's not clean i don't feel like putting this on my body right now um but yeah so i have this peter doe shirt and on the back it actually has dough right here just really clean minimal little tee so yeah i'm sure that this t-shirt you may be able to find online like i said i can i'll look for this one as well to see if i can find it for you guys but yeah we have this little t-shirt right here and this is honestly just a perfect little piece for the fall to just have on like a tee, um, maybe layer it with like a long sleeve under it. I don't know, it just depends on how I'm feeling, you know. But y'all, yeah, this little t-shirt is so cute and I'm so glad I found it. So the next item that I have that I thrifted are these Celine Corduroys. They are so cute. These are really to die for. Like I was looking for a pair of Corduroys already and the fact that I just found these just makes me so happy because I was just expecting to purchase like a pair of like black corduroys or white or brown and these pink ones are so cute and they're like a little low-waisted I would say because I thought they were gonna be way too big for me but 
the way that they fit around the waist is perfect and they also have a little flaring at the bottom of the leg so just a really nice pair of pants to have for this fall i'm so excited about these and i cannot wait to wear these i wore them once but i wasn't really feeling the fit so i'm gonna try and put something else together with these and just see how it goes so the next thing that i've got is this little shirt right here it's kind of one of those like japanese style-esque type of shirts um or like chinese i guess it would be but it has like this huge keyhole right here in the front and i just love the embroidery right here that we have and you can take it apart it's like a little buttonhole so you can either just wear it open like so or you can close it like I had. And at the bottom, this is a top by Rosati. Rosati. Um, at the bottom it has Rosati in just these little crystal rhinestones, which I really enjoy this little detail. And I love navy and white. And the craftsmanship of this top is just really amazing. It's rayon and nylon, so it is pretty breathable and it's just pretty lightweight. I just really love it. It's just so pretty. That's really what I got it for. Y'all know I'm here for a look. I don't care. I just love to look cute. And this is a cute little top. Next up on the list is just this little black skirt that I got. It literally has no name on it, but it was just giving me like comb vibes for some reason. Like it just really looks like, I don't know, it's just a dope little skirt. Um, so I got this little skirt right here because I think that just having a black skirt that's a little avant-garde is just perfect for me and perfect for winter time because I'm trying to, I don't know, my style is just all over the place. Honestly, I wear whatever I want at this point. I'm not stuck to a specific style. I like high fashion, I like Y2K, I like everything. So I just wear what I want. And I haven't worn this skirt yet, but I know that I'll be able to pair this with some really dope things. So I cannot wait to style this skirt right here. Next up on the list are these Chloe pants. They have this huge rhinestone buckle right here in the front. It's literally just sitting here in the front. I plan on removing this because I don't know it's just doing a little bit too much for me um and it seems like it'll be an easy thing to remove but these are like a super low waisted trouser they are a wide leg trouser i think that they are brand new oh no these came from Ina. that's so interesting Ina is a another like the second hand store in new york and that's where these came from which is pretty interesting but yeah so i have these little chloe pants right here i just thought they were so cute so i decided to purchase them i think that this skirt right here might be one of the pieces that i looked up on it is a, a yoji yamamoto skirt this skirt was 19 dollars I am just so shook that the price is $19. I just really can't get over it and the fact that it fits so perfectly. This is a rayon cotton mix, um, but I think that if I just add tights on, I could definitely wear this, bust this thing out for the winter time. It has a zipper on the side that goes all the way down. So if you wanted to like play around or if I want to like play around with the cut or the slit on the side then I can do that and I do like a little slit maybe a lot of slit so yeah I really enjoy this skirt right here I actually just picked this up yesterday so this is one this is really the piece that inspired me to film this video because I'm like oh I got some pieces and they need to see this they need to see this but yes I paid $19 for this Yoji skirt and it is so beautiful i also have a jumpsuit that i got from thrifting and it is 
by this brand called Base Range. I just recently looked up this brand and they do a lot of minimal things, like a lot of minimal pieces, but they're just really high quality pieces. Like this jumpsuit right now, me holding it is super freaking heavy. I be burning up sometimes when I have this thing on because it's so thick. The bottom is a tapered leg, but when I have it on, honestly, it doesn't look crazy tapered because I just, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of like skinny pants or like a tapered leg necessarily for myself, but it doesn't look that bad because it's super long, so it actually just bunches up and it creates that type of effect, which I really enjoy and I love the V-neck and the belt that goes around the waistline. It is really freaking cute. So yeah, I have this little jumpsuit, which will be amazing for fall and the winter. Also, I have a mesh Vivian Tam dress. This might be one of my favorite pieces from this recent pickups or thrift haul. I am obsessed, oh my God. Y'all don't even understand, this whole thing is mesh. It's all mesh, it's super long, it is beautiful but I have to be super careful with this because it's already snagging a little um, on the back because it was touching velcro but yeah this is such an amazing piece and I can't wait to wear it um actually be able to wear it out so yeah I just had to show you guys this piece because it is so freaking beautiful all right, so another piece that I thought would be cool to show you guys that I got is this Cavalli top right here. This Cavalli top is so fire. It's definitely giving like early 2000s vibes. It's very like eccentric and I love it. I love these colors together and I love the neckline. The asymmetrical neckline is so beautiful. I really love this top. Even though it is a three quarter sleeve, I don't think it's that bad, but yeah. Yeah, I really love this top right here. The first coat that I have is this varsity jacket right here. This is a vintage jacket. I looked this jacket up because it's just so old. Like as you can see, the inside is so crazy, but the tag is so old. So I looked up this brand, it's called Park Regal Sportswear from Buffalo, New York. And this jacket is from like, the 60s to the 70s like it is super old but it is an amazing varsity jacket it has a lot of loose threading in it but I don't care I just really love it the color is amazing and it has Wilson um, right here on the back with the patch and it has just different sports on it but I thought that this was an amazing jacket so I just picked it up and it was only $17 so I really wasn't taking a loss. <laughs> um, and this is something that I could literally put in a case in the future and just have it to sit because it's super old but so freaking dope. It is. It has leather panels right here which I thought was amazing as well. These little white panels right here are leather. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this because I love this little varsity jacket right here. I also got a, a leather jacket because I needed a leather jacket. I think I mentioned that in my fall essentials video, like essential items that you need for the fall. So I had to take notes and get myself a leather jacket. And I got this Giorgio Armani leather jacket that feels like butter. It is a 90s, it has a 90s cut to it. Like the waistline kind of goes and it's very fitted. I love this. I love this jacket. I'm just so obsessed with this jacket. And it has like padding in the shoulders, but it's not doing too much because sometimes with their jackets be a little bit too out and about for me. But this is the perfect leather jacket. I do want a, a leather trench coat as well because this one is more of just a regular like fit. It's not crop, but it's just a regular fit yeah <laughs> um but yeah so i have this giorgio armani jacket right here that i am obsessed with right now and the last jacket the last coat that i want to show you guys is this shearling right here this is also a vintage coat y'all and I honestly wanted an Acme Studio Shirley, and honestly, if I see one, I probably still will want it. But this shearling is so beautiful. First of all, this shearling was 118. Yeah, this is probably the most expensive thing that I've purchased in a minute. But it is real shearling, 
real leather like i had to get this because i knew that it would be warm for the winter time it isn't on camera's kind of showing up black but it's a very very like dark brown and that is what i enjoy most about this i love the color overall it's just my favorite i'm just obsessed I think it's perfect. There is a shearling that Bella Hadid was wearing. I think it might have been, I'm just gonna insert the picture if I can find it. But this is what this vibe is giving me and I'd always wanted that jacket so I'm so happy that I got this one right here. And last but not least, I have to show you guys the shoes that I got. The first pair of shoes that I got are these Z coils. These are the most fun shoes I've ever had. Look at this and honestly, I looked these up. They go for around like 200, 300 I think. And I thrifted these babies for maybe $9. I got these for $9 um, and they just have this amazing little like bungee coil thing right here. And so like if you balance yourself on the back of it, it really like you can like kind of bounce around on them. These are really just the cutest little shoe. I really love this little sneaker. And this is like a sneaker that I could run errands in. This is probably like an airport sneaker. So yeah, I'm like so obsessed that I got these little Z coils right here because fire, 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 fire. And the last pair of sneakers that I thrifted are these rick owens i thrifted another pair of rick owens y'all i got the rick owen ramones these are beat up like my other ricks i knew were like beat but these are like gone for like these are so beat up but i only paid 21 dollars for them so i can't really be that mad um these i just bought new laces for because they didn't have laces as you can see, they have the zip right here on the side, which still works, thank God. They also have the Rick Owens photo right here. These are a mainline pair of Ramon, so you can see that right there. And these are a size, I think these are 38 as well. These are 38. But these are so amazing and even though they are beat up, I mean, let me show y'all what I mean by like beat up. These shoes is beat. Like, look at the, the freaking toe box. I don't know if I can even do anything about that, but I'm going to try and really revive these. I'm going to make a video of my attempt to revive these. Hopefully it turns out good. I just bought new laces for them from Etsy. There's like this um, seller called Private Laces. So I bought some laces for them. I'm gonna lace them. I'm gonna clean up the soles. I'm gonna try to clean the toe box as well and maybe even figure out how to just sew the 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 panel right here back together because it's a little ripped. So hopefully we can do it. If not, they're twenty dollars. Like it's really not a, it's really not that big of a deal. They could just be beater shoes. I mean they're a pair of ricks. I really don't care. I don't I don't care. I just really enjoy them. So yeah, these are another pair of ricks that I have thrifted from Beacon's Closet Manhattan. I'm trying to tell y'all, get on it. Get on it, get on it. All right guys, so that is the end of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoy. Make sure to comment down below your favorite pieces from this haul. I will be doing a live stream. Make sure that you guys are tuning in for the live streams on Fridays. It's either on Sierra's channel or it's on my channel if you guys don't already know. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. So peace.